video, we're going to explain how to use Excel to do some cryptography. We're going to implement the famous Vignere cipher. So basically, we're going to use the mod function, which was explained in one of the videos in the if statement lesson, but if you don't know it, that's fine. The row function, which gives you the number of the row you're in, VLOOKUPs we know. And then the ASCII character functions, like if you type CHAR97, you get an A. CHAR98, you get a B. CHAR122, you get a Z. Okay, so how does the dictionary cipher work? Well, you have a keyword. Let's say it's three letters, cat. And then you have a message. A a message. A exit to the left will be our message. And then you basically are going to implement this as a table, so when you add text, everything will update automatically, and you can add to the message. Okay, so first we have to get the keyword cat written next to the message, repeated over and over. Okay, we'll show you how that works. And then basically there's a code for each letter of the alphabet. A is 0, B is 1, C is 2, Z is 25. Why not 1 through 26? Because we want to use modular arithmetic as we'll see in a couple of minutes. Okay, now we need the letters like A through Z. I could just type them, but if I have 97 through 122 and do CHAR, I can just drag it down and get A through Z, and I'll need it over here also. Okay, so basically how does the code get generated? Well, I keep repeating the keyword, as I said, and if I take an E, C would be number two, so I would shift the E by two and it becomes a G. Now, it's a little trickier if you take an O and shift it by T, because that gives you something more than 26, but that's where the mod function comes in. So, review the mod function. It gives you the remainder when you divide the first number by the second number. Four divided by two, remainder of zero. Five divided by two, remainder of 1. But what about if we deal with 26? So if I take 34 and divide by 26, I think you know the remainder is 8. Okay, because 1 times 26 plus 8 gives you 34. But what if you do minus 18 mod 26? Well, it's also 8, because how do you get minus 18? Okay. You take minus 18 as minus 1 times 26, okay, plus 8, so the remainder is 8. Okay, now I think we're ready to explain how this works. So again, the row function, if you type row in a given row with left paren, right paren, gives you the row you're in. Okay, so this is row 24. So how can I get the keyword to repeat over and over? Okay, well, I do a V lookup. I do mod the row number. Here the row is 4. Divided by 3, I get a 1. It comes over here. There's a 1. I look up a C. Okay, now the next row, it's 5, comma, row 5, comma, 3, remainders 2, I look up an A. 6 divided by 3, remainder 0, I look up a T. 7 divided by 3, the remainder is 1. Okay, I would look up uh, a C, etc. Okay, so that gives me the key word over and over, and that will repeat. Okay, now how do I get the coded letter that will represent, in this case, the E in the message will be a G, the X will still be an will be an X. We'll see why that is. Okay, so it's a V lookup within a V lookup. So what you got to do is you look up in the text. If you do V lookup text here, it's going to be based on these columns. So you look up an E, it's going to be a 4. Okay, and you look up a C, which is the key word, it's going to be a 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. And then if you look up in these three columns here, you would get a G. Okay, and that's what we have there. Now, what happens, it's a little more confusing, when we have O and T, what are you going to get? Well, O is going to be a 14. Okay, so when you do mod the uh, O, okay, you look up the 14, look up in the code what an O is, it's a 14. T is a 19. So this is going to be 14 plus 19 mod 26. So that's 33 divided by 26 gives you a 7. Now, 7 turns out to be H, so you get an H there. Okay. Now, the question would be then, how do you decode the message? Well, if you think about what we did here, okay, we took the text plus the keyword gave me the code. So, if you want to go backwards to get the text, you have to take the code minus the keyword and then just do this mod 26, and that's where you might get a negative number. So, what I did in the decoded column, Okay, I took the code, basically looked up the character uh, corresponding to the code here, 
which would be G, which would be six. Okay, then I would look up the keyword, the code would be two, which would be four. Uh, the difference would be four. Six minus two would be four. I look up four, I get back to the E. And this works with negative numbers. You'd have a negative number if the code is higher in the alphabet, later in the alphabet than the key word, like here the X is later than the T. Okay, and so then basically you have to figure out how much later, but the mod function works fine there. So that basically you can see decoded the message. Now if I r r add a word again here, see it copies that the formulas, which is really cool. So in other words, the again would be coded as A-Z-C-I-G, and then it would be decoded. So this is really quite a cool application of lookups within lookups, mod function, row function, and C-H-A-R I didn't really need because I could have done A through Z, but it's really quite amazing that we can do this using Excel. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.